In this part, we will solve two problems. First one is MCQ, the multiple choice question. And the second problem is match the column. So this part is going to be very interesting and we will start from this MCQ. Consider the circuit shown in figure. We are having SR flip-flop, NOT gate, XNOR gate and we have to find out the expression for the next state Q+. plus. There is one very important point that you should note. Whenever we have to find out the expression for next state, we have to make the characteristic table. And in characteristic table, the output, the output is the next state itself, Q plus. This is the next state. And uh, the next thing that we have to do is to find out the inputs. This is very important point that we should know what are the inputs to the characteristic table. And uh, the inputs are x and q. q is the present state. In characteristic table q is always going to be there and depending upon the present state value and the input you are giving the next state is generated. This is very simple. So we will move to the characteristic table to find out the expression for q plus. The inputs are the inputs are x q and the output is q plus there are two inputs and four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 to find out q plus we must know the expression for s and r in terms of this input x so we will do that first if you analyze this circuit you will find this is q so q is acting as one of the input to this xnor gate and here we are having x x nor q hence r is simply x x nor q and uh, s is the complement of x x nor q so we will write x x nor q and its complement right and now we will find out q plus the next state depending upon the values of x and q and it will be good if i also write down the values of s and r along with the values of x and q this will help us to find out q plus but remember this is not the part of characteristic table okay when x is 0 q is 0 it means r is going to be 1 you have to simply remember the truth table for x nor gate and uh, when both of them are 0 s is going to be 0 right and uh, in the same way when x is 0 q is 1 r is going to be 0 s is going to be 1 when x is 1 q is 0 r is going to be 0 again and s is 1 when both of them are 1 r is 1 and s is 0 so these are the values for s and r depending upon these values of x and q now we can easily find out the next state q plus because we know the truth table for s r flip flop and we have to use that only when s is 0 and r is 1 because now we have values of s and r and q plus is nothing but the output of this s r flip flop and we have found out the values of s and r depending upon the values of x and q so we will use simply the table for s r flip flop and we know when s is 0 r is 1 the next state is going to be 0 when s is 1 r is 0 next state is 1 and again we have next state as 1 and then we have next state as 0 so these are the values of q plus and uh, we can find out the expression for q plus it is simply x xor q this is the odd ones detector whenever the number of ones in x and q is odd the output is going to be high here we have 0 0 no ones then the output is 0 0 1 there is odd number of 1 we have output as 1 1 0 odd number of 1 we have output as 1 1 1 even number of 1 we have output as 0 so simply option c is correct the q plus the next state is x xor q so this is how you have to approach whenever you have to solve for the next state now we will move to match the column and in this we have list 1 and list 2 list 1 is having the components shift register counter decoder and list 2 is having the properties I will solve for A and you have to solve for B and C this two are homework for you and I will solve for A 
Let's talk about shift register, what it does. The most important application for shift register is conversion of parallel data to the serial. If we have transmitted the data in parallel, we will feed it to shift register and we have the serial output. So the parallel data is now transmitted as serial and this is important when we have to do the long distance transmission because we don't want these four channels but we want only one channel so that our cost is reduced. So serial to parallel data conversion is done by shift register so A matches to 3 and in the same way you have to match B and C. This is all for this presentation post your answers in the comment section and uh, I will see you in the next presentation.